What made Whole Lot of Red so special? Another album that capitalized Cardi to the astro <laughs> astrosphere <laughs> into another level of the hemisphere, uh, creating a hardcore cult like fan base. Well, not creating. Let me correct myself. Let me correct myself. Reinforcing that fan base, ele- elevating it to another level, going on some crazy live performances. Whole Lot of Red change Cardi in the best way possible. And overall, my album, how did I feel at first listen to a year ago to even now? I just want to say in the beginning, that first night, I didn't enjoy it. I wanted some of that, that, that funny, animated, sort of cartoonish, pure born production. So whenever we got this sort of punk 808 uh, sound going on, I was like, what? The screaming, the yelling wasn't the biggest fan to first listen. But after a while, I appreciated the new direction. Having Rockstar May go to the moon and stop breathing was full of just aggression, anxiety, and just wanting to punch a wanting to punch your fist through a, a door or something. Love the new direction. Love this. But I feel the same way that I feel that this album isn't as consistent as it could be. I felt Playboy Cardi sort of played it a little bit safe by having songs that took away from that atmosphere, such as Beano, uh, to a certain extent, Metamorphosis. No Sleep, I believe, Teen X, and even Mad, just the first half. Uh, we could have cut those tracks out. We could have kept some of the more harder ones and kept that atmosphere going on. And even tracks, even though I love Sky and New Neon, anything that reminded me a bit of Die Lit, that was a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more animated, could have been stripped away to create a better cohesive experience. Playboy Cardi should have doubled down on the punk, on that, ah, that, that crazy haywire energy that was displayed on here. Now, fast forward two years, this album hasn't aged at all for me, but it, 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 is, it also isn't, it hasn't gotten to that point for me where it has aged better or wow, as time goes on, it continues to get better. I still feel the same way I did about a year ago. I mean, coming in at about 20, what, 24 tracks, this is definitely bloated at times. If we would have stripped it to about 15 songs, kept the strong ones on here, the one that just gets those 808s driving, uh, I would have felt better cohesiveness, more longevity added to this. And which is great because I remember initially hearing meh when it dropped up before a whole lot of red. I was like, okay, so it looks like Playboy Cardi is going to go all the way with the baby talk. We're going to get this sort of funky, funny, instrumental, sort of kiddish. If this is a new direction, I wasn't going to be the biggest fan. And then doing a complete 180. Uh, As far as shock factor, Great as far as, you know, those first initial weeks, having those conversations within people, hip hop community, some of my friends was quite entertaining, enticing, and sort of seeing my ears being engaged with this music. I was like, all right, this is where the replayability is starting to kick in. Of course, love the fact that with the tour, you were able to see more hard, uh, not even hardcore, more casual fans just loving it, loving the energy, gravitating to it to the point where it even affected the streams of Whole lot of Red and continuing to get more and more, which I found to be great. Uh, you guys, let me know how have you been feeling about Whole lot of Red. It's about to be two years, Christmas. And honestly, is it Christmas album? I, I, I think we could say Whole lot of Red is a great Christmas album. And, you know, overall, it is an enjoyable album with some great, how, with some great highs unfortunately, a bit bloated, has some loads, and just has some tracks overall that just feel like they don't blend in. By all means, they're great. Sky, New Neon, uh, those are fun tracks, but this could have been something that we could have saved for some loose singles or maybe an EP beforehand. 